In this video, I'm going to show us how to enter the uh, internal rectangle feature that I added um, after the fact that we had this assignment, um, just because we're going to do it later on in a few of our uh, other pieces we make. So how we need to do that is, first of all, once again, start by deleting some of my guidelines that I have floating around <clears throat> that I don't need any longer. And then starting with the tape measure tool, I'm going to go over here to the green axis, click on that midpoint, slide over. The first one's going to be two and a half inches over. And then from the bottom edge over here, going up, we're going to go up two inches. This is going to give us our lower left-hand point of the um, rectangle we're going to make. Uh, the rectangle that we're going to make is going to end up being um, a rectangle. Uh, that is an eighth of an inch high. So if I take my guideline and click one more time and go up an eighth of an inch, <clears throat> that'll give me that dimension. And also three <clears throat> eighths of an inch to the right. Excuse me, three eighths of an inch. Now, this is my space to click at an intersection to the intersection to make my rectangle. Select the letter R, changes my tool, click and click. Eraser tool to delete out our pieces. Now we have our part ready to dimension. <clears throat> Once again, for the ones that were wondering that information one more time, it was two and a half inches over and two inches up, and our rectangle is an eighth of an inch by three eighths of an inch. Thanks for watching.